Random thought. What's mm -hmm. your petty deal breaker? Now, we know everybody has deal breakers, right? But some deal breakers, I just, you know it's petty, but you still hold mm -hmm. it as a deal breaker anyway. And I ask this because Kendra G does this thing for singles only, and this guy's petty deal breaker is kind of petty. Well, one of my pet peeves is um, chips, fingernails, polish. So um, if you have that, and I see it, it's a wrap. Um, if, her, if her nails aren't done, it's a wrap, CJ? No, Kendra. If her nails are chipped, it's a wrap. They don't have to be done. She doesn't have to have any polish on it. Just keep them clean, you know, because I, I feel like that tells, tells a lot about a person. If you have chip running around with chipped fingernail polish all the time, you to me, you dirty. Uh, man, that that is petty, uh, but I, I get it. <laughs> I totally get it. Uh, yeah. It's petty. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, a petty deal breaker for me, um, bad feet. Like, <laughs> and what I mean by bad feet, I don't mean, like, you know, nails done. It's just pedicure. You're, you're not lotion on the ankles you know your your, your feet mm. and ankles look all crusty mm. that is kind of a deal breaker it's petty because i know you could easily let's go on a date and get pedicures together we can fix it but the fact that you're content walking around <laughs> with sandals with your ankles looking all jacked up you know like you've been stepping in flour no i, I that would be that would be a deal breaker for me not covered in my bed tearing up my sheets <laughs> <laughs> Mess it up my 800 thread count. No. <laughs> Unthreading my sheets, goddammit. Hell yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, oh, okay, I'm sorry. A combination of the, the feet. The other petty deal breaker that I just can't stand is women that drag their feet like in sandals. Instead mm. of like stepping, it's just like, just kind of that little... Scooching, yep. it's like this lazy, I don't really want to walk, but I have to. Mm, mm, mm. It's, I hate that. I, that's just annoying. I Pick your feet up. Let's go. <laughs> you know, you're dealing with the feet here, right? And you're not talking about ugly feet. You're just talking about dry, crusty, tear your sheets up, rip your carpets out the floor feet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Some people Scratching up my hardwood floors. <laughs> I just had them polished, <laughs> goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Get them Jurassic Park paws out of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to go with the brother. Uh, I mean, uh, the chip nails, I, I, the chip fingernail polish, because I think that's what it really is. It's a fingernail polish, yeah. right? And it's not like, oh, well, one just happened to be like that. When you see all 10, I, I totally get where he's coming from. Mine's a little bit different, because my petty comes from extremely long fingernails. Mm. I just am not a fan. I, to me, I don't want any woman cooking my food. I'm not eating anything from anybody who's got extremely long fingernails because I don't know what's under there. You see Cardi, Car and I know Cardi's not your favorite and I, that's why I love to keep bringing her up. Uh, <laughs> but she carries those extra long nails. It's just, an, for me, it's an automatic turn off. Those extra long nails help her be able to take the money off the counter when the dude is asleep. <laughs> Yeah, reach over. <laughs> yeah, it's like the little claw machine where they get the stuffed animals. While he's sleeping, she can just reach over, grab that watch, <laughs> grab the money, and slowly sneak out the bed while he's drugged, passed out. <laughs> then maybe what they need to do is put those claws in those machines because those machines, those claws don't grab shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think we've just solved that machine. We need to put the fingernails on those claws and then we'll actually get something out of the machine this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Welcome to the show. I'm Yanni Rood. And I'm just Terrell. You ever went out somewhere and overheard two people having crazy conversations? Yeah, you know, kind of like this one. <laughs> well, we are those people <laughs> and we've been having these conversations since college. Yes, it's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast, episode 87. Be sure to like, subscribe, and definitely become You know, it's Memorial Day weekend, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to keep you very long. Um, just want to make sure we did drop some content for you guys. Um, make sure, you, like Terrell said, you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. If you haven't watched the show, um, 90 Day Fiance, already yesterday, then go ahead and watch it. You can That's, that's where you can pick up the extra, the extra time that we're doing today. But, you know, since it is Memorial Day weekend, um, it's been... 
is this the first Memorial Day weekend since the pandemic, right? Because we're really, a couple of months ago, uh, Dr. Fauci said we're in the endemic. Um, mm-hmm. One of the things I did when I was interviewing a lot of artists um, for Island Vibes over the pandemic, I was asking them like, all right, so what's something that you learned during the pandemic? What new skill did you pick up? You know, like um, uh, Sean Paul said that he was, uh, he had learned to, to make um, uh, ginger beer, right? Um, and then you had, um, Taurus Riley, who said he learned to produce because he's a great artist, but he wanted to learn how to more on the production side. Leela I.K. said she learned how to ride a bike. Terrell, what did you learn <laughs> hmm. over the pandemic? Um, let's see. If I think about the, especially the beginning of the pandemic, I learned I learned a lot about porn, and there's some porn out there I did not know existed. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> it's not where I thought you were going with this, but go ahead, <laughs> please. I'm intrigued. Just, just saying, there's there's some interesting <laughs> stuff out there that I had no idea. I'm like, this is a thing. What have I missed? Um, no, but what, what I learned in the pandemic, especially that first year, was how to be alone and how to like do stuff and enjoy being by yourself. I think when you're mm. used to working at an office and being around people and then you go to happy hour and you hang out with friends and all that stuff where you had to the point that you couldn't do those things, you had to figure out what else you could do. Mm-hmm. And I found that it was okay to be alone. And it was, you yeah. know, great to be by yourself and getting your thoughts, read a book, you know, meditate, whatever. I just didn't really think about how much I depended on social interactions um, until the pandemic forced me to sit by myself. So interesting thing about us and our dynamic, right, is that if you look at the two of us, you're probably the most um, socially fluent one, right? Like you're more comfortable in a lot more social settings. You jump out, you go to happy hours, you do all this other stuff all the time. So me, I grew up as an only child, right? For 12 and a half years, I was an only child. So I knew how to be by myself. So I find comfort in being my, by myself. I, there was a point when I said I was socially awkward, especially in smaller settings, um, until that became the new fad thing to say. So I'm no, I no longer say that. Um, but uh, yeah, I have no problem being alone. Um, and that's, I think one of the great things with my wife and I is like, we can be in the same house together and in separate rooms and be fine. Or we can be in the same room together and be great. Um, so I really found out for me um, over the pandemic that, yeah, I could live with her. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot. Of, that was the most time we'd ever spent together. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. We, so we won't kill each other. Okay, good. Uh, this is good. They're, they're not arguments. Okay, this is good because I know a lot of people broke up over the pandemic. But honestly, the main thing that I learned over the pandemic, the main skill I picked up, because it was great to learn that, that we can live together. It's great to learn that we can do all these things. But for me... Um, I learned to grill. And it's actually mm. two years ago this weekend. Um, my wife had bought a grill and was like, yeah, we got a grill. I'm like, all right, sure, okay. And I put the grill together. Um, and then I'm like, hey, so uh, how do I do this? And she's like, huh? I said, look, I've never grilled before. She's like, what grown man doesn't grill? I said, this one, because all my friends know how to grill better than me, so why should I? <laughs> <laughs> why would I go in there if you are great at this why would I come in and just fuck shit up no you do the great I'll eat <laughs> you're like my job is to bring the chips I've been exactly. doing that I've been signed up it's been steady thing last 10 years every time chips that's what I got I brought the Heineken I brought the Stella Artois we drank you know they had, we had somebody who did the rice we had somebody who did the jerk chicken we had somebody who did the, um, the jerk sauce so I didn't eat. I ate. <laughs> but look at me now. Two years later, and I am a master griller. All right, that's probably a stretch, but I'm I was good. I'm saying, like, really? <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I think well, you need to dial that back a little bit, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow because they have, we have some people coming over today and I'm grilling out. So as long as everybody survives to, um, by tomorrow, yes. Well, well, at least um, um, I'm a grill of first class. How about that? Then? <laughs> okay. Okay. We we'll can go no. with that. <laughs> oh, look, man. Um, saw this bullshit because, um, you know, this holiday is the unofficial start of, um, uh, of summer. But there's a new holiday um, that is not new to you because you live in Texas. And you've been, you know, so Texas knew about this. And the rest of the country just found this out last year that there's such a thing as Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what happens when there's a holiday. Not only does everybody <laughs> start and taking the day off, 
But then, of course, people start to uh, put out some stuff for sale because they're always mm -hmm. going to be sales. So now you've got the Juneteenth sales. And one of the things that popped up was Walmart, who had Juneteenth ice cream for sale and mm -hmm. Juneteenth memorabilia, as shown by Kev on stage. Juneteenth Celebration Edition ice cream, swirled red velvet and cheesecake flavored ice cream. And this is what happens when you commercialize federal holidays. It just became a federal holiday. Now you can celebrate with this ice cream. But wait, there's more. There's all type of Juneteenth party supplies. Juneteenth wine. You got the little mask and glasses. And I'm so upset about this. What I need Walmart to do is send me all this ice cream just so I could taste it and make sure it is wrong. <laughs> you know, when I saw this, I, I said to myself, you know what? Ever since I started to get educated about civil rights movement and talking about how important it is for people of color to be represented. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was young walking down the dairy aisle and just looking around going, this is some bullshit. There's nothing. <laughs> There's nothing for me here. They're not reaching out to me. They're not marketing to me and, and my family and my people. <laughs> I, I brought this up and I felt like it fell on deaf ears. And so I'm really excited that Walmart finally got some ice cream for black people. Thank you very much. Now, I look at it like this way. I think this is a plot to lower the po the black population because, mm. you know, we're subject to getting the sugars and yes. giving us the beat us. And so you're going to mm -hmm. give us this ice cream on Juneteenth. that yes. probably has a lot more sugar in it than normal. It's just to start taking us out. Conspiracy. It's it a conspiracy. Is. It's red velvet cake ice cream with uh with, with cheesecake in it. I mean, yes, you're right. This this, this yeah. is gonna be an overload of sugar. It's four pounds of sugar per scoop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're trying to kill us. They're trying you know, to kill us. If you notice Fourth of July when you know everybody's America, um, it's sorbet now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> red, yeah. white, and blue sorbet. And see, it's it's almost like a magic trick. They're doing this over here, but the trick is back here. Somebody needs to go back to the uh, lotion aisle and look at the cocoa butter. Is it stocked or is it less than what they have? So now we're, we're distracted by the shiny ice cream, but realizing that there's no more cocoa butter back in the aisle. See, that's how they get you. And now women walking around with crusty ankles, tearing yeah, up the Walking around with crusty stomach. ankles, crusty ankles, bellies full, sugar level high. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god well you know of course there's some outrage on this and then um walmart pulls the ice cream pulls the memorabilia and has since apologized and we know how much you love apologies especially from corporations somebody on their marketing should have been like seriously y'all are we're really doing this seriously okay here's the thing you would think that right and mm -hmm. i gotta say some of the slogans they had especially on some of the, some of the memorabilia was like it's the freedom for me, which tells me somebody black was on that marketing team. <laughs> but as somebody black and somebody young who didn't understand that no, there's certain things you don't play around mm -mm. with. It's the freedom mm -mm. for me. Really? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. I can't. Because, I mean, I, I wonder how they got people together to talk about that. Okay, so next year, Juneteenth, who's got some ideas? Let's go brainstorm. Those stuff up on the wall. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. Love it. Love it. Ice cream. <laughs> what kind of ice cream? Does it have to yeah. be chocolate? Yeah. We, <laughs> no, we need to have some what? phrases. We need some oh. phrases. Like, what could be a good phrase for June tea that you know? June and I'm proud. for me. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. That's it's the, the one. Yes. You are on fire, Quin Quiniqua. You are on fire. <laughs> I'm glad you're an intern from Howard University. We really appreciate you being a part of the Walmart family. You got oh, you ain't gonna get Howard University mad at me for you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's how they justified hey. it. Someone black from an HBCU gave us this idea. We thought it was good. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be fair, to be fair, for dessert, we're cooking out today, I just told you, right? For dessert, we have these cheesecakes, right? Regular cheesecake, vanilla cheesecake, then the um, chocolate truffle cheesecake, and then there's a second dessert. Can you guess what it is? Sweet potato pie. Red velvet cake with cheesecake in the middle. <laughs> Walmart was actually right. <laughs> See, this is why I don't do desserts. I don't do desserts. I'm not a big dessert person. So you're killing yourselves.
<laughs> oh my God. Make sure you enjoy your day. I mean, you know, I know people like to say happy Memorial Day, but you got to remember the reason for the day. And it's really not supposed to be happy Memorial Day. It's in remembrance of, of our fallen soldiers. So enjoy the day. Remember the why you have the freedom that we have today. But also make sure you check out our podcast on Wednesday. We've got the final Terrell is so happy about this. The final season 14 review, because this is the Where Are They Now episode. I don't care where they are now, to be honest. I don't. I don't. Well, pe people are waiting to see we, where we're going to be come July 6th. There are a lot of comments and a lot of folks, and even new folks who are just joining and just finally commenting and saying, hey, we need you guys back for season 15. So I will say I am working on him right now. Now, behind the mm -hmm. scenes, on camera, I am also working. On, so just know, I'm working that we're back July 6th. Fingers, toes, prayer warriors, unite. Yeah, we could, there's other shows that we can watch that are on, on July 6th. I'm great with that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Sunday, 90 Day Fiance. Um, we do the recap of that. Season 9. This will be episode 7? No, episode 8 uh, next this, this coming Sunday. So... Make sure you subscribe, like, subscribe, and put on bell for notifications. I'm Yanni Root. I'm Just Terrell. Make sure you follow us at Yanni Root, at Just Terrell, and at RGRT Pod. Yeah, send us some of your random thoughts or some of the bullshit you find on the internet. We'll talk about it on the show. It's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast. Cheers. Cheers.